feral pigs. They're everywhere. From the wild forests to suburban backyards, these resilient animals have sparked a heated debate. Are they pets or pests? In this video, we'll explore the origins, impact, and controversial status of feral pigs. Are they a menace to society or misunderstood creatures deserving of protection? Let's find out. The story of feral pigs starts centuries ago. Domesticated pigs were first brought to North America by European explorers in the 16th century. These early settlers released pigs into the wild as a food source for future expeditions. Over time, some pigs escaped or were released intentionally, leading to the establishment of wild pig populations. These feral pigs, also known as wild boars or razorbacks, adapted to their new environments and their populations exploded. Today, feral pigs can be found in at least 35 U.S. states, as well as in many other parts of the world. But their rapid spread has brought significant challenges. Feral pigs are known for their destructive habits. They root in the soil for food, which can cause severe damage to crops, native plants, and ecosystems. Their feeding behavior leads to soil erosion and water quality issues. In agricultural areas, the economic impact is substantial. Farmers face millions of dollars in damages each year due to crop loss and soil disruption. But the damage isn't limited to farmland. Feral pigs also pose a threat to native wildlife. They compete with native species for food and habitat, and their aggressive behavior can lead to declines in local animal populations. So, are feral pigs pests? Many people think so, pointing to their destructive impact on agriculture agriculture, ecosystems, and even human health. Feral pigs can carry diseases that affect livestock and humans, such as swine brucellosis and pseudorabies. However, not everyone sees them as pests. Some view feral pigs as intelligent, social animals that can make great pets. There are even sanctuaries dedicated to rescuing and caring for feral pigs. Given their impact, controlling feral pig populations is a priority for many states and countries. Methods include trapping, hunting, and using fencing to protect vulnerable areas. New technologies are also being developed to improve control efforts. From drones to GPS tracking, these innovations aim to more effectively monitor and manage feral pig populations. Beyond practical concerns, there are also environmental and ethical considerations. Some argue that feral pigs play a role in their ecosystems, helping to disperse seeds and create habitats for other species. Animal rights activists advocate for humane treatment and non-lethal management methods. They argue that feral pigs should not be punished for thriving and environments created by human activity. There are numerous case studies that highlight both the challenges and successes in managing feral pig populations. For example, Texas has implemented extensive control programs with mixed results. In Australia, innovative methods like aerial shooting and fertility control are being tested to manage the vast populations of feral pig. Looking ahead, the future of feral pig management will likely involve a combination of traditional methods and cutting-edge technologies. Collaboration between scientists, farmers, and policymakers is essential. The goal is to develop sustainable strategies that balance the need to protect agriculture and ecosystems with the ethical treatment of these intelligent animals. So, are feral pigs pets or pests? The answer is complex and multifaceted. While they pose significant challenges, they are also remarkable creatures that have adapted to survive in a world shaped by human influence. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.